now to Mahin Khan. The 18-year-old is now facing three charges after plotting to execute terror attacks in Arizona and California. Those Pima County Sheriff's documents just into our newsroom are from an incident in 2013 at Catalina Foothills High School. The reports show Khan making racist remarks such as, Bin Laden was innocent. He only killed 7,000 people. During the interview, deputies say he went on to say he hoped the SEALs that killed bin Laden also died and that he would not be sad if the president died. They also reported that Khan made racist statements just days into starting at Catalina Foothills. He did not like Jewish people, he did not like Hispanics, and he did not like African American people. Those are quotes. Nine on your oh, side, no, Jennifer no. De La Cruz has been speaking to people who know him personally, and tonight, how one student tried to report Khan, but was stopped in his tracks. Some of mine, Khan's former classmates at Catalina Foothills High School, say they're not surprised by his recent terror charges. This is the third student we've talked to this week who says Khan was violent and driven by you know, hate. I think he just said, hey, hey, dude, can you, can you pick me up a gun? Can you get me a gun somewhere? He's just like, I want a drone that can fly a mile and deliver a package. Documents from the Pima County Sheriff's Department show a deputy contacted the principal on the second week of school in 2013. He'd mentioned stuff about the Army and how uh, he wanted to pay them back. He'd, he'd talk about the military and how they're cowards. The principal said students began filing complaints on just the fourth day of school. Claiming Khan made comments about not liking Jews, Hispanics, or African Americans. He went on to say that bin Laden was innocent and only killed 7,000 people. He added he hopes the Taliban wins and kills the American military. Khan was removed from the school by his parents that week. Mahin Khan was arrested last week in Tucson and faces three felony charges. He's being charged with terrorism, conspiracy to commit terrorism, and conspiracy to commit misconduct involving weapons. In court documents released this week, Khan claimed to be a supporter of terror groups overseas, including ISIS and the Pakistani Taliban. He had plans to attack a motor vehicle division in Phoenix and an Air Force recruitment center here in Tucson. Khan was in contact with the Taliban in Pakistan and was looking to get assault rifles, pistols, and the recipe to make a pressure cooker bomb. Well, Khan is being held at the Maricopa County Jail on no bond. He's due back in court tomorrow morning. And coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll hear more from some of those former classmates. All right, Jennifer, we'll see you then. Thank you.